Hey there, what's happening? This is Eric Duncanson and I'm coming at you from my home office in beautiful Marietta, Georgia. First of all, I want to thank you for hopping on my YouTube video. My wife Victoria and I, we are known as the Laptoppreneurs and our passion is to help you to make money online. That's from anywhere in the world so long as you have a laptop and a Wi-Fi connection. And so very excited to talk about the topic for today, but before I get into that, just want to say, by the way, if you like the information I'm providing in this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Become part of our awesome tribe. So without further ado, let's get into the topic for this video. It is near and dear to my heart, how to stay focused as an entrepreneur. Staying focused as an entrepreneur. That is one of the most difficult things to do because life happens. Right? And so when you make that mon monumental decision to become your own boss, it seems like sometimes the universe can open up with challenges, right? To see if you're really serious about becoming an entrepreneur. And it's not just a battle of daily battles, but it's a battle of consistency. You have to consistently produce value to your particular market in order to succeed as an entrepreneur, especially in the area that Victoria and I tend to focus on, which is online marketing. You have to be consistently on your game in order to be successful. So as an entrepreneur, number one, you need to understand that you have to focus on being strategic and being tactical as a warrior in the battle to have the life you deserve. You need to understand that you're in the battle, so you gotta be prepared to fight, right? And so I'm gonna talk about the five key distractions that you're gonna be dealing with, and you need to be prepared to deal with it. The more prepared you are to deal with it, ultimately, the more likely you are to succeed as an entrepreneur. So let's talk about number one. Number one is false expectations. A lot of people, when they become a business owner, they move forward as an entrepreneur. They want to have a quantum leap of success. But you have to recognize that you have to gain skills. You have to become a professional. Any profession that you go into, nobody would have a false expectation that they're going to reach a six-figure income like that. It just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. You have to develop a special skill set that's associated with your particular field. And of course, it is going to take time. There may be successes along the way. There may be failures along the way. The people who ultimately succeed are the people that stay focused and make consistent progress. And they're focusing on progress. They're not focusing on the failures. They're using the failures as learning experiences, but they're focusing on the opportunity to be successful. And they have a, a, a healthy curiosity. When they fail, what made me fail? What can I change? What can I tweak so that I can get better and better and better? It's constant improvement that ultimately will lead to success. But you need to understand that there is seed time and it's harvest time. Seed time and harvest time. There's planting and there's harvesting. Planting has to do with all of the work you're doing, all of the no's that you're getting, all of the rejection you have to deal with. Now, there are ways to lessen your rejection, and we'll be talking about that in other videos. But right now, understand that there's always going to be some form of rejection that you have to deal with, right? And even if it's virtual rejection, meaning they don't sign up, that's still a form of rejection, right? So you have to have a mental focus. You have to have the right mental focus. So one of the things you're gonna do in terms of dealing with false accusations, understand this. The investments you make and the improvements, the progress you're making from the investments are invisible if you look at them incrementally, because it's what you're, the seeds that you're planting 
over time, it takes time for those seeds to grow to the point where you're ready to harvest. So you have to proceed with a certain amount of faith that you're planting seeds that will result in a harvest. Again, it's mentality, it's focus. One of the things you can do in terms of developing that focus, enhancing your mental attitude is to invest in personal development. Now, there's no excuse for not investing in personal development because it's literally everywhere. We have access to it via the internet. Start to follow the key influencers like Tony Robbins and, and, and then, you know, just start pick and choose. You can literally Google major personal development influencers. You'll get a list. Start watching their videos. You don't even have to read their books. Some people prefer to read. Some people prefer to watch videos. Some people prefer to watch podcasts. Bob Proctor, that's another name that's great to follow. There's so many of them out there, but again, I'm gonna leave that to you. Do your research, get your list, start developing a list of influencers. And then what you can do Hopefully you're on Facebook because if you're in business, you really should be in, on Facebook as an entrepreneur, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc., etc. But what you can do is for those key influencers, what you're going to do is find their fan page and like their fan page and click see first and put notifications on. That means when they are producing valuable content, when they're going live, they're going to be projected onto your Facebook page and you'll have an opportunity to be coached by influencers. How powerful is that, right? So that's number one. Fight those false expectations. Understand that they will happen. You have to war against that. Number two, you've got to change your old paradigm. Your old paradigm is a parasite that literally is sucking the blood out of your dreams. Ooh. That old paradigm, that old way of thinking. When I talk about that old way of thinking, I'm talking about the influencers that were controlling you, that were holding you tight in that position of being unsuccessful, right? The old friends that have no goals, you know, they're stuck, they're stuck. They're still, you're, you're, you've moved on, you've graduated on, and you're still dealing with people that were stuck in pre-high school graduation mode, right? And when you interact with them, they can't see your vision. In fact, they're vision killers. They can still be your friends, but maybe they may need to be a little bit more distant because you need to stay focused towards your goals. It could be family members. Family members can hold you back as well. It could even be a spouse. A spouse may hold you back as well. Now, I'm not saying separate from your spouse. Absolutely not, because I'm very pro on marriage. But your spouse will eventually come around when they start to see your success, if that's an issue right now. So, change your paradigm. Focus on a paradigm of power. Again, as I mentioned before, start being influenced by the top influencers in the success area you know you want to start being influenced by success you know you want to establish a mentor or coach that can help direct you help direct your steps that's going to help to fortify you it's going to make you stronger and less distracted again we're focused on being focused as an entrepreneur right number three life's newsfeed Life's newsfeed. Now I'm using that kind of tongue in cheek because the newsfeed on Facebook is probably one of the most distracting things in the world. You go around, you see people don't interact with people as much anymore. Everybody's looking at their phone. Everybody's looking at that phone and they're scrolling down that newsfeed, scrolling, 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 like life is in their phone, right? So life's newsfeed is just simply distractions. Distractions is habitually hooking in to distractions. Like people, sometimes they're working on that J-O-B until they can make their life's vision happen. And sometimes when they get off their job, they get home, all they wanna do is pop on that TV. You go and into hypnosis when you're watching that TV and you're on, on in front of that TV for three, four hours, days over. What have you accomplished in your business? What have you accomplished in your entrepreneurial pursuit? Absolutely nothing. 
One day turns into another day, turns into another day, turns into another week, another month, another year. What have you accomplished in your entrepreneurial pursuit? Absolutely nothing. So you've got to change the paradigm. You've got to change that news feed and be very conscious of what you're watching. Be very conscious of what you're reading. Be very conscious of who you're listening to and direct it. Focus towards your growth, towards your personal development, towards your business, towards developing your personal skills. That's how you have to focus. Again, focus, focus, focus. Number four, four, number four, having an unbalanced relationship to your work. Now, a lot of people, when they become entrepreneurs, they think they have to stay super focused to the point where nothing else happens in their life. Not a good thing because that can maybe happen for maybe up to 30 days max, but then the other parts of your life start falling apart. So four areas of focus that are key. Your business, of course, your personal relationships, your health, and personal development, all four of those things must be worked on constantly, constantly, constantly. So you're gonna to have to balance. You're gonna to have to balance. You're gonna to have to have some time for your health. You know, imagine an entrepreneur that puts all their efforts into their business, right? They don't focus on their health at all. They're not drinking enough water. They're not getting enough sleep. They're not working out at all. They're not eating the right foods. So what happens? They become wealthy financially and health, they are at zero. They're, bank, they're bankrupt. Their health is bankrupt. So you got all of that money. What have you got to show for it? Nothing. If you don't have your health, if you're living in pain constantly, you cannot enjoy all of that money. So balance, 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 balance. Relationships. You don't focus on your relationships. They will die, I guarantee you. So key relationships, critical relationships with your spouse, with your with your your valued friends, I'll put it that way, you have to put some time on that. With your children, definitely put some time on that. And then finally, number five, shiny object syndrome. Shiny objects, people are too prone to grasp after this idea, this idea, this idea, this idea. You know, in the information age, there's an infinite number of ideas out there, infinite meaning more than you can count. Now, to be an entrepreneur, you need to have a healthy curiosity, but keep that curiosity focused on the area you're pursuing till you can master it. You know, if you want to master Facebook, stay focused on Facebook until you gain that level of mastery. Then you can move over to Twitter. Then you can move over to YouTube. Then you can move over, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Stay focused, focus on mastering. One thing, the question I have for you is what do you want to be known for? because as you develop your authority, you need to be known for something. And so hopefully that helps you. Again, those five things that we're attacking, number one, false expectations. Number two, a false paradigm, which can become a parasite. Number three, life's newsfeed. Number four, being unbalanced. And number five, this shiny object syndrome. Hope you, hopefully you found this uh, video valuable to you. If so, be sure to like comment and subscribe, become part of our awesome tribe. And then finally, one thing I wanted to add, my wife and I, we literally struggled with online marketing till we found a system that does 95% of the work for you. And they show you how to do the 5% with excellent coaching, mentorship, and a community. If you're interested in that, go down to the description, look for the link that says the number one way to make money online. Click the link that's going to take you to a free seven-day trial. What have you got to lose with that? This is Eric Duncanson saying, hope you're having a great day. If not, definitely make it a great one.